go through a step-by-step -step process that really will help people from, you know, I have no idea what makes me different. You know, I just have, I have a strong functional skill. I went into business for myself because I wanted to you know, either do things my way or create a business that revolved around me, my family, and my life, not the other way around. But now I'm going out to networking events or I'm trying to go on, on my website. People just see me as a commodity and I'm tired of trying to explain why I'm different and I'm tired of people not getting it to having a strong message that attracts people to want to know more, making sure that you have that swell of a strong niche market and then making the whole sales process easy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a five-step process that really breaks down those elements. But what I want to do first is I just want to quickly explain, uh, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of an understanding around how to structure your why first. And here's, here's why that's so important because in modern day marketing, they talk about you discover the unmet need in the market, right? So we discover this unmet need. Everybody in classic marketing, you know, it doesn't matter which marketing program you pick up. They say, find the unmet need in the marketplace and then create a message for that market and then create the sales system for that market. And that's how you're going to be successful. The problem with that is that means you're bending yourself to the marketplace. And that's a horrible way to build a business because, look, I can create rapid growth out of anything, but I promise you there's nothing worse than having a rapid growth business with customers you can't stand and a business you hate working in. So it's about getting it right first. The second thing is people follow people these days, not corporations. So we need to make sure, especially for those introverts that are listening, but for all service providers and all businesses, even if you're a product-based SaaS company, You'll notice that Facebook, Microsoft, who do we have? Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates. People are following the people at the top, the people with the strong messages, not the corporation brand. So I look at messaging, I look at niching very, very differently. What I suggest you do is understand what your goals are, understand what your why is from that element, then step out and say, well, what is my unified message? Then from that, what unmet needs are there in the marketplace that my unified message and my why can fill? I mean, in the past, like I'm living in Austin, Texas. Before that, I lived in Melbourne. You know, you're from Australia, but you're currently up in Thailand. If you want to run a business, you'd have to work out what customers you could sell to just out there in the real world. But now we live in a global marketplace. If there's one customer in Austin, there's probably a thousand customers globally that, which means I don't have to worry about trying to fit an unmet need in my marketplace. Now I can build a, a message and, understand, and create a niche around what I really want to do. So the focus for me is understand your goals, understand your why, then craft the message and then decide what niche unmet needs in the marketplace that then fills. Pick one and then create the sales system from that. So step one for me is really about understanding what your goals are. So what I always suggest people do is they write three business goals, three personal goals, one incredibly selfish to themselves because that's the one that's going to drive you. Use, I mean, you can use smart criteria. Everyone knows what that is. The things I really care about is that it's specific and it's time-based, which makes it measurable, right? So understand the exact metrics of what you want. Write those goals down and then write the why behind that in 250 words or less. So summarize each goal in 250 words or less, the smart goal and the why. 